Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at this Ace Magician Mini PC. In this video, I'm gonna actually walk you through um, the initial setup and starting of this PC. We're gonna take a look at some of the components inside the actual box that this came with, the manual, and we'll also take a look at the PC itself and I'll show you um, all the different options in terms of ports and things like that. So I've actually just booted this up for the first time. Let's first start with the actual Mini PC itself. Um, just looking at the front of this, um, you basically have your speaker, microphone inputs, USB-C. There's a uh, read LED here in the front. You've got your power LED and that's also the power button. You've got your USB 2.0 ports. There's two of those and two USB 3.0 ports. On the back of the case, you actually have a display port, HDMI, two additional USB 2.0, and then you have two ethernet ports and your power plug. Overall, this is a pretty straightforward little build. The mini PC itself looks nice. It's very clean, straightforward, and um, it's fairly easy to set these up. I've used some of Ace Magician's other products. Now, I'm actually gonna go through what's in the box, and then we'll go through setting up everything in Windows. This comes with a short HDMI cable. You also have um, inside the box here a couple other cool things that they included. There is a um, nice little panel here, so if you wanna wall mount this, you can actually mount this to the wall and they include all the screws to do that. And it does come with a user manual in multiple languages, um, kind of gives you an idea of what to expect. So this actually allows you to mount it on the back of an existing monitor. So if it's something you wanted to do, you have that option. Um, overall, these mini PCs I've been using for many various different purposes. Um, one of them I actually have set up to emulate some older retro games. I use another one for like uh, home theater stuff, and then I've even been using some of these for gaming. This is probably one of the more low-end ones, but generally um, they're fairly straightforward to get up and running, and depending on what it is that you're gonna be doing, they're mostly easy to use and will get the job done for just basic um, Windows tasks. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've got um, this portable, this is actually a portable monitor with a portable built-in keyboard, so it almost is like a mini laptop that I can connect to any computer. So it's really nice for a setup like this. I'm gonna go ahead and go through our initial setup so you have some idea of what to expect. We're gonna pick English. Say yes, and this could have a little bit of wait time. So um, we'll try to go through all the options as quickly as possible. Just having me do our keyboard layout, hit accept. And when we get into Windows, I can show you some of the, um, you know, some of what to expect in terms of just setting everything up. Uh, I'll go ahead and just set all this up. So I'll just do something easy. City where you were born. Of course, they're going to have me do a bunch of these. There we go. So it has you do the first initial security questions. We'll just keep the default settings for privacy. And this usually doesn't take too, too long. These come pre-built with Windows 11. So it's really nice because you can literally just get this up and running fairly quickly. Um, this one is spec'd out with fairly basic specs. Um, if you actually look at the box, um, you'll see right on the box itself what the base specs are. So it actually has the product name in terms of here you can see mini PC. It's the AD03 color gray. It has eight gigabytes of RAM and then it's also got uh, a 256 gig hard drive built in. So it's fairly bare bones in terms of a mini PC here. Usually, um, you know, you're gonna be looking at quite a bit more um, if you want something that's gonna be slightly higher end for playing games and things like that. But overall, um, I found these to be, you know, pretty nice little mini PCs. I haven't had any issues with them. They don't really get too loud in terms of like the fans or anything like that. And overall, the performance is good just for those basic um, tasks that you might be doing. So again, this usually takes a few minutes. Um, we may have to pause the video and then come back depending on how long this takes. And I may continue here, at least so that way I can go through some of the basic PC specs. It looks like it's actually almost done. 
All right, so here we go. We're already in Windows. As you can see, um, I've been recording now for just about five minutes, so pretty much up and running setup all within less than five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead just as a little demo here. We'll do run DXDiag, um, and basically we can just take a look at some of the basic specs within Windows in terms of what this actually has. So it comes preloaded with Windows 11 Pro 64-bit. Um, again, you can see the 8 gigs of memory. It actually has an Intel N95 CPU that runs at 1.7 gigahertz, and it has um, a display that's set up with the internal Intel UHD graphics. So pretty bare bones in terms of just like a basic, basic setup. Um, overall, I think if you're looking for something to do like web browsing, um, other wor word tasks, you need like Windows apps, maybe you want to do this as like a little mini uh, media center, something like that, you want to run like some emulated games on it, maybe some older classic games, this probably would work well for that. If you're looking for something more higher end for gaming, this probably wouldn't be your best bet, but overall this is going to do a lot of those basic tasks that you want and be very simple to set up without too much um, extra that's really going to be required. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review. Hopefully you found it helpful, and I will talk to you later.